Hi guys, Paul from Denon DJ here and uh, I'm at Bot DJ in Leeds and we're just going to give you a quick overview presentation of the brand new SC5000 Prime Media Player and the X1800 Prime Mixer 2. So straight away with the SC5000 Prime Media Player um, this technology is running on a multi-core processor, so very much think of this as a computer with inside a standalone unit. Uh, we have our own Denon DJ software, uh, Engine Prime, which actually is within the unit, which powers the whole music system uh, you know, with, for your performance and to expand your creativity. So let's just dive in and have a look at some of the main features and how you actually uh, get performing with the SE5000 Prime. First of all, your music is accessed from the front of the unit initially with an SD card uh, and USB port at the front and also two additional USB ports at the rear of the unit. The music capacity is unlimited so you can have many terabytes of music files should you wish to actually access those as well. Once the music is within uh, the unit itself, uh, if you, the music is analysed with our Engine Prime software, uh, beat grids, music key, tempo and track artwork are all brought into the system as well but this is the first standalone DJ media player that can actually analyze music on the fly so say for example if you had a USB or an SD card with music that wasn't analyzed previously in Engine Prime uh, you would just put it into the SC5000 and it would internally analyze within 10 to 12 maybe 15 seconds depending on the length of the track and it will analyze B grids, musical key, track artwork and tempo of course so there's really no limitation to, to entry, you can pretty much start playing within you know a few seconds with unanalyzed files. The main uh, focus point for the SC5000 Prime is the 7-inch uh, multi-touch, multi-gesture screen. It's very much like an, uh, an iOS device, it gives you that a similar kind of feeling. So straight away you can actually just access your music files, for example by touching here you can go through into your crates and select anything that you want, uh, playlists as well, a history folder, uh, you can go to the preparation folder, a root folder, a search as well. You can see very uh, quickly, it's very fluid, it's very familiar to the to the touch and also to select a track you can just simply tap on the track and sweep it to the right and that would load the track into the SC5000 Prime or alternatively if you wanted to pick a track to put into the preparation folder for playing later you can just tap a track and sweep it to the left. All the essential information the DJ would want to actually see is on the touch screen so for example you quantize on and off, continue, your beatkeeper countdown, elapsed and duration time and also the uh, musical key and the uh, tempo etc. You can see from the waveform as well which you can zoom in and zoom out that the frequencies are represented as low in blue, mids in green and the whites are higher frequencies. So the artwork for the track that's playing appears on the centre of the jog wheel. You have the ability to be able to put your own logo, your brand, your DJ name, the club you're playing at or the event that you're playing at into the centre screen. So it's very cool for branding in this, uh, this day and age of marketing. A fantastic feature of the SC5000 Prime as well is it almost has a controller ethos about it. It's a single media player, but it has the capability of playing two layers of music. So for example, think of layer A and layer B. At the rear of the SC5000 Prime are two separate independent audio outputs, both analog and digital, and that gives the ability to use one player to do a full DJ set if you would want. So looking to the base of the SC5000 Prime, we have access to the Creative Performance Trigger Pads. From here you can access your hot cues, so you can jump between different points in the song and prepare a drop for a mix, etc. And in the secondary loop mode, that gives you access to jump between different loop regions of different lengths when you're performing live. We also have a section capable of doing rolls, which gives you access to more triplet time and straight time accessibility. And in the slicer option, this gives you the ability to actually access single beats in a two bar loop and then re-trigger them at different loop time sections. Another great feature of the SE5000 Prime is we have class leading time stretch technology. What this allows us to do is to lock the musical key and then make extreme tempo changes at maybe plus, minus, 50, 100% even. Two interesting safety features for the SC5000 Prime when you're playing out live is one, we have a track playing at the moment, say something untoward happens with the power or somebody decides to be very clever and pull out the power lead, we can actually take the power lead out the SC5000 Prime and the music keeps playing. No interruptions, plug the power lead back in, audio keeps playing, 
no loss of audio. Another safety feature as well is that if a card is removed, a USB stick etc, normally a track would go into what would be called emergency loop. On the SC5000 Prime, if I take out the USB stick, the whole track keeps playing. So now you can see that the information is still on the screen, the track is playing, and also I can do some performance features like looping, rolling etc. The entire track is buffered into the SC5000. So let's take a look at the new X1800 Prime mixer from Denon DJ, the centerpiece of the Prime series system. Instantly, it's a familiar layout. First of all, we have our dual sweep effects. So this gives access to four different effects that you can access on, on each individual channel. So by sweeping to the left, you get one variation of the effect. By sweeping to the right, you get a second variation. Also on each channel, you have access to the low pass and the high pass filter. The resonance of this can be adjusted in the utility menu. The EQ section is a choice of two, the traditional EQ for low, mid and high, and also the X1800 Prime can be switched to isolation EQ or ISO EQ, which is a kind of a throwback to the 1970s club style discotheque. Also you have access to the 12 classic Denon DJ effects via the OLED screen. And it's also notable that with the SC5000 Prime network to the X1800, all the tempo data information precisely is locked to all of the effects. You'll notice on the X1800 as well that the cue lights are actually color coordinated and matching the layers on the SC5000 on whichever track is playing. At the rear of the X1800 Prime is a network hub. This enables up to four SC5000 players to be connected to the X1800 and activates Engine Connect, our communications protocol, which transfers BPM precise tempo information across from the players to the mixer itself. Also, this enables fast communication and music file transfer from one media source throughout the network hub to any of the four connected SC5000 players. Also on the X1800 Prime is our microphone input section with a low and high EQ and separate gain control for each microphone with a talk over feature as well which is adjustable in the user settings and also a mic on and mic off button for each individual microphone. And for the headphone section on the X1800 Prime you have a choice of quarter inch jack or one eighth inch jack for your input so if you lose your adapter it's very handy to be able to use that. Also individual level and cue master selection and also you can choose between traditional or split cue options. Also at the top right hand side of the X1800 Prime you have dual USB connectivity for example to connect to your favourite DJ software. Thank you guys for watching this overview on the new Denon DJ Prime Series units. The SC5000 Prime and the X1800 Prime will be available from Bob DJ online and in the two stores Leeds and Bristol in Q2 2017.